Good morning, good morning. So, thank you for joining us or watching this video. Um, I'm Joshua Finch, and I want to give you a recap of last night's Art Night Out. So, uh, let's look at what happened. So, every, every week, or every last Friday of the month, we have Art Night Out. So... Uh, we always have free classes, so we get a little preview on Art Night Out, what that means. So we have lots of levels of students. So this was a person who walked in with no knowledge, or actually, well, never met me before and never knew anything about the course, but asked. So I asked a little bit about them, and they could draw me shapes. They understand 2D, but we wanted to go to 3D. So we started playing around with the concept of going from 2D to 3D, and we understand... Under Par sets of parallel lines. So this was just one little nugget lesson that sh this lady learned, loved it, said she's coming back. Um, this is a prior lesson from the other day, emphasizing the same concept but on a triangle. Okay, this was another student who is also a drawn student but hadn't drawn in a long time. So you can see there's a little difference there. Uh, she was taking her notes, uh, writing her name upside down and backwards, playing around, having fun. And we were talking. So there's the same thing. You can see there's a little difference here. So there's one thing different here is this one has a lot of contrast, and this one doesn't. So this one's very light, which is awesome. This one's very dark, which is awesome. But it's just different levels. So we have all different levels of people when they come in the door, especially if they're just coming in for a drop-in. And they're kind of just playing around learning how to draw something. Um, so those are those. Sometimes we do things that are f just silly and fun because it doesn't matter. We're just having a good time. We're in the studio. So I bring things like this just in case uh, you're not super into the math and like the expanding your mind part. And you just want to have a relaxing, silly time. So here's one of those students' drawings. Uh, and look what he came up with. So inside the square box is 100% student drawing. Actually, I did not teach or coach anything until right around this uh, little boulder that the dog's sitting on. Uh, and he's really, really cute. And I tried playing around myself over there. But um, yeah, this drawing is 100% student and it was the first time ever. And I kind of started that student out with some warm up exercises and uh, some different things to understand line. Uh, that's that student right there, Signature. That student actually happens to be my brother. It was his first time, Kyle Finch. Yay, Kyle Finch, Kyle Finch, Kyle Finch. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had fun and he did that. He also did a painting, which I'll show you at the very end because it's not in this room. And another student who comes to all of our classes, she, uh, it, played around with different contrasts, and uh, and she was drawing um, with a little bit less contrast, so the light line, and then I actually gave her charcoal and ink, so this is graphite, charcoal, and ink, so this is three medium, so it's mixed media, but it's all, it's all drawing, but um, you can see how awesome it looks, and all I did was give her like a handout like this with a flower, and I told her to understand the background, the midground, and the foreground. So she took a concept and rolled with it. So that's a lot of what I do in the class, is I kind of just give you things that help you play around with your mind. Because you have two minds, and you have kind of two parts that could be strengthened. So all the different sides can be strengthened for each side. In my games, our challenges. So here's one last person, then I'm going to show you the painting. So I talked about the concept again, and this is a never ever student. And he just got done working, spending all day, come visit. He happens to be my dad. Yeah, Dave Finch, Dave Finch. So here's his, and this was really just showing him once, and then he did it himself here. So awesome. You can see it's. Uh, really three-dimensional. You can see how it stands up. Um, and yeah, he did a good job by himself. So now the next thing 
Uh, let's walk over here into the studio. Welcome to my studio. Oh, no, no, that's that's not it. That is the, the board uh, that we put the paint on. But here's the painting. So what do you think about that painting? He said he didn't like it, but he, when you paint stuff, you wait till the next day, and then you see a little more when you're done. But I like it. That's his first time never, ever painting. And he didn't paint that with a paintbrush. He painted that with a palette knife. So he painted the whole thing for his first time ever, and he used these tools. So he painted the whole painting with two knives. I think we used a couple spots where he might have used a little bit of a brush to put some texture, like leaves and stuff. But he did the whole thing with a palette knife. That was his first painting. Okay, so that's a recap from Art Night Out. We have it once a month. It's super fun. Uh, lots of vendors. I think this month was a little bit uh, light because uh, a lot of the holiday stuff, people are out of town. Uh, but we got another one coming up, and it is uh, going to be paint, get painted, and it's gonna, everybody's going to be wearing white, or you bring in white clothing, and we'll paint on it for you. So... Um, yeah, thanks for joining here. Throw some likes, share, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll give you some updates. There's going to be a lot of new stuff coming because I'm a resident artist and I want to keep you guys up. Friday, Lot 23 Studio, uh, 5.30 to 7, and uh, Art Night Out last day of the week, or last Friday of the month. And if you need to, just contact me or go to centerforcreativeeducation.com and you can see the schedule. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. Peace.